If you've been thinking about moving to Northwest Arkansas, here's the 12 things you have to know about moving to Fayetteville, Arkansas. Fayetteville's a great place. Hey, this is Alan. And this is Brent with the Living in Arkansas team. And uh, we're happy to be here today to talk about uh, Fayetteville and uh, all the neat things that, uh, that go on there. Uh, Before so we go any further, we have to ask you to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel and make sure you get the notifications so whenever there's a new video, you get reached out to. And uh, yeah, we try to do uh, a new video every week about the Northwest Arkansas area and uh, would love to uh, have you uh, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. Uh, so we're in real estate. We're here to help you uh, find out all about the area and serve wherever we can. So uh, let's get going. Let's talk about uh, the 12 things that are really important about Fayetteville, Arkansas. So the number one thing we ha you have to talk about with Fayetteville is it's a university town. Oh yeah. There's a bunch of university life when the students are in town and they're not away for breaks. Uh, I think it's anywhere from 25 to 29,000 students are extra population in Fayetteville. And so there's a lot of student housing, especially on Martin Luther King Boulevard, uh, just south of the university. There's uh, a bunch of apartments, duplexes, townhomes that are really designed for students. And that means there's a whole bunch of restaurants and uh, good places to eat down there too. It's gonna be a little bit less expensive, um, but yeah, don't, don't 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 miss Dixon Street. So Dixon Street yeah. is kind of like the uh, the pub crawl type area um, that's in every university town. Uh, you can start on one end of Dixon Street and just uh, make your way down, uh, eating and uh, having libations along the way. Uh, makes for a great fun uh, evening to get out and see uh, Fayetteville and and uh, experience uh, the university. Heck yeah, and the. Um with that university town comes the sports. So when there's a football game in Fayetteville, traffic is at a standstill. It can be <laughs> a little complicated to get around and find something because the cops stru uh, structure everything to route traffic. And there will be, you know, the, the stadium holds what? 60,000 people? Ballpark thereof. And so if you have 60,000 people going to a, uh, to a small state, you know, a small city with a big stadium, it can work wonders on the traffic and you know there's parking everywhere it's hectic yeah it uh, gets hectic and so there's also a baseball stadium for the uh college there's also a basketball stadium and that substitutes as a hockey so there's lots of sports activities in Fayetteville Arkansas absolutely go Razorbacks heck yeah so one thing the next thing I'd love to talk about is houses what are the houses like in Fayetteville near the city center and then like going a little bit further out so you know one thing that I find really neat about Fayetteville is that uh, the area is built into the hills there oh, and yeah. so as you're in and around the Fayetteville area unlike some of the other uh, developed areas around Northwest Arkansas it is actually pretty hilly and uh, there's there's a place right there in, in Fayetteville called Mount Sequoia um, some beautiful, beautiful uh, homes there, some older homes, some amazing views. You can see just for valleys and valleys, uh, the views can be amazing. Um, we've got uh, the park that's uh, just, uh, it's got the bike trails on it that's just south. Oh, okay. Mount okay. Kessler. Okay. Mount Kessler Park. Um, again, some amazing uh, views over there, mountain biking. Uh, but I, I digress. I don't want to jump into mountain biking already. But not yet. Not, not yet. yet. We're getting there. We're home. We'll wait for that one. Wait for it. But for the houses, I mean, like like he said, uh, right near the city center, there's some there's some parks right by uh, downtown Fayetteville, Wilson Park. There's a lot of highly desirable houses right there. Very quiet. The houses are going to be 70 plus years old, and some of them have been redone really, really well. Uh, very. They're going to be in the six, seven hundred, and beyond range for prices, but they're big, four or five bedrooms, maybe a hundred years old, hundred plus years old. I've been in a few of them, and they're really cool, especially when they've been done well, yeah, uh, redone well. Well, that uh, that one that we had listed last year uh, was built in 1905. It had been completely gone through it and gutted sharp. down to the studs, uh, completely renovated. Uh, so there's that kind of thing. There is some infill growth uh, with new construction here and there. 
uh, you're not going to find so much in downtown Fayetteville area. You, you just won't find a new construction community, say, for example. Um, it's a lot of the uh, older style and uh, older homes. They're just being rebirthed. Uh, as they become available. You know, like you said, the in infill growth, there's gonna be pockets of five, six houses or less that they're building, we're, we're seeing as vertical. They're building three, four stories high, two, three car garage below, and then you- Some you, kind of townhome style. Yeah, and yeah. a lot of them have, I've seen with a, you know, the fourth story would just be like a balcony on the roof that you can see everywhere, uh, having a really cool view into the trees over the hill now as you get outside of Fayetteville kind of out on the outskirts of town per se um, you do find some new construction some beautiful communities there um, that are new newer construction and new construction yeah um, and what do you think the houses are running in those kind of areas if you're going for a four bedroom two bath you know 2,000 plus square foot you're gonna be starting off in the uh, there's a brand new neighborhood actually they're starting in the high 300s uh, Buffington homes and uh, they are starting in the high 300s and um, if you go they 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 can charge you as high as you want uh, <laughs> as high as you want to go uh, they got some five six bedroom options and with offices but uh, that's pretty close to where I live uh, near Weddington and that's a brand new 70 acres right there that they're they've got four different phases going in and so developing like mad over there yeah they yeah. are popping them in um, and so in Fayetteville there's a lot of on the outskirts outskirts of Fayetteville there's a bunch like he said a bunch of new construction that's going in and there's bunches of neighborhoods that's why you got to reach out to us so we can help you find what you're looking for for what's going to best fit you and your family and we can really plug you into which neighborhood that you're going to want. Yeah, there are all kinds of little pockets of neighborhoods that uh, if you, you, you wouldn't even know they were there. So uh, when you come to town, give us a call. We'll be happy to show you around and help you find uh, the right home at the right price. That's what we do. We're here to serve. Uh, let's talk a little bit about like uh, the weather and stuff like that. Yeah. Is it? So Fayetteville weather, what is, what is, uh, I've been here for 12 years. Let's go with uh, storms and snow. For starters, I mean, I've been here for 12 years and it's maybe five or six times where it's shut down the, the area for a day or two. And then um, it would like to be back to normal. They have our road scraped, they have de-icer down and you can get out and about. Maybe on the, the outskir outskirts of rural roads, there'll still be some patches of ice and snow, but the city center and all the, um, the highways and interstates will be cleared by then. And so it's only been, like I said, five or six times where there's been enough snow that lasted more than two days. Well, the, the weather around here is beautiful most of the time. So uh, fantastic to get out and uh, especially, you know, it, it's called the natural state for a reason. There's a lot of natural beauty here in mountains and creeks and streams and hiking and biking and, and so on. And uh, there's just so much to do outdoors and we're, we're blessed with some really great weather. Uh, most of the time, I th what were you saying the other day? Like, what's the statistic for days of sun? Oh shine? yeah, so for days of overcast, we have about 95 days or less of uh, overcast and cloudy in Northwest Arkansas. And then over 230 days a year is uh, bright and sunny, partially cloudy. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it's December 16th as we're sitting here today yeah. and the uh, weather is like 55 and you know, it's a little jacket weather, but uh, it's it feels great out. But yesterday was 75 degrees, <laughs> and tomorrow it's going to be 65 and, and rainy. So, you know, um, and when it does rain here, it's going to be a uh, you know, it's going to downpour pretty hard for a while, and then it then it's, it's pretty much done raining for the rest of the day, um, and it, it comes down in hard spurts. But you know, Washington, it was like drizzle all day. <laughs> growing up it would just be rainy drizzly all day and it, you might get like a quarter of an inch well here it might rain uh, a quarter of an inch in you know an hour and but the one thing nice about that is they they do a lot of work and they do a lot of uh reservoir work for routing the water and drainages yeah we don't have so we don't get like uh, so much flooding like no. say where i grew up in houston uh whole sections of the city at times would, oh would flood or, or also grew up in Baton Rouge, same thing there. And, uh, but we don't really experience that here on a large scale. So no. it's really well maintained, well controlled. 
and uh, you know, from time to time, the, the water gets carried away, and and uh, we do get a little flooding here and there. So what that brings up, though, one of the things that we're very attentive to for our clients is uh, ensuring that the houses that they buy, you know, some people, you know, don't mind being in the flood zone. I'd say, whew, be careful, buyer beware. Um, but uh, you know, I'd say steer away from that if you can. Um, but if you just have to have that house, you know, you need flood insurance and that kind of thing. Uh, less prevalent um, th to see that. It's very rare uh, that that comes up, but it is something that we're attentive to and looking out for you. Yeah. And speaking of weather, part of that is with the seasons changing and growing up in the evergreen state of Washington, one thing I loved was it was always green every year, all year round, but around here, October, November, just explodes with life and color on the trees. You can just take drives for a days or at a time and just go camping out in the woods. And it's just beautiful reds, yellows, oranges, and browns that uh, the trees come to life with. And I love that about Northwest Arkansas. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. It's very special for sure. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, like the, the food scene, uh, the breweries and that kind oh, of yeah. stuff down in Fayetteville. I mean, there's so many great breweries uh, down there and great restaurants. I mean, as you can imagine in a college town, uh, there's there's a lot of variety and there's a lot of people in, in that in that small space. So um, there's plenty of restaurants to choose from, plenty of, uh, plenty of stores. Um, the, there's, I can think of a half dozen breweries within uh, a few miles of downtown Fayetteville. And so there's a lot of that if you're into that. A few um, of them on Dixon Street. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, which leads us to the, all the things that there are to do. That you got the the Walton uh, Art Center there. Oh yeah, um, um, that's a Broadway stage that they will bring um, Broadway shows there. I've seen Beauty and the Beast and Les Misérables there. Um, there's a comedy club down in Fayetteville. That one's pretty and, fun. Yeah, good times. Uh, so there's there's a lot to do and see. There's a lot of uh, little museums in downtown um, Fayetteville Underground. Uh, nice little free museum that you can go walk through, local culture, local art, and um, what else? Uh, good restaurants. I mean, there's oh some my word, wonderful no restaurants and, uh, you know, a lot of, of one-off restaurants. So while, you know, there are some chain things uh, in and around the area, but uh, uh, it's a preponderance of mom and pop restaurants or individual one-off restaurants. And there's some really great food in Fayetteville. Um, so if you're into the food scene, would t tell you please come down to Fayetteville and check it out. It's it's a good time. Oh yeah. Um, so with that, it's a good time. Is Southern hospitality. Yeah. Something I've experienced. You know, growing up in Washington, it was just a different environment. Mm -hmm. um, being in a restaurant, how they talk to you, how I was treated, just uh, greeted out on the street in the store. People were just kinder they're nicer that's just how i experienced it in my 12 years being here uh what about you yeah so uh i mean i grew up in uh in houston and baton rouge uh so uh, i've kind of had that already built in but the, the the people around here i just before brent picked me up earlier uh my neighbor stopped by with uh some cupcakes and you know that's a pretty common occurrence uh with our neighbors and and uh, if you get out and you're friendly, they're friendly, and uh, you know you'll have some great relationships here. Uh, you know, speaking of great relationships, there's some great uh, some great church opportunities uh, in the area as well. So yeah. uh, if you're about church, then uh, there's a lot of amazing church opportunities in the Fayetteville area as well. Plenty of selection there. Yeah. Um. So taxes we have to talk about taxes i don't want to talk, you talk about taxes i don't want to hear about taxes <laughs> <laughs> okay fine i'll talk about taxes so taxes in fayetteville and arkansas is first property taxes washington county is going to be just under one percent point nine percent of the assessed value of the house and or uh, vehicle and so we have that every year uh, that you pay property taxes not that exciting, um, but sales tax is going to be anywhere from 7.5% to 10.5%, depending on what town you're close by. There's a few towns outskirts of Fayetteville that uh, are a little bit lower. So that may be a plus or a minus for you from where you're coming from. And then uh, income taxes in Arkansas. We do have state income tax, which is meh, but <laughs> it's it you know it does it pays for yeah not a huge fan but uh it's depending on how much you make 
It's zero to six percent with a stair step, uh, based um, on income. Based on income, and so let's stop talking about taxes. Yeah, let's talk it. about something fun like bike trails. Bike and, trails. Oh, the, the the bike trails around here are amazing. Uh, some are set up for mountain biking, and so more of that. Uh, jumps and, and, and bumps and, and all that kind of stuff. And some are more set up for street riding and uh, paved trails and things like that. But there's a couple hundred miles of trails. And I know you've been on a lot of them. Oh, Talk about word. some of those trails around Fayetteville. So Lake Fayetteville is a real fun and easy one. If you want to stay on the pavement, it's a five and a half mile circle um, with some winds and weaves and, and some hills built in. And you can really cruise around it. And you know my fastest time is about 33 minutes. But then you can also get on the dirt. There's a sub trail right there. And that's about a six and a half mile trail around Lake Fayetteville. And you can really whip. It's not that advanced. It's got some mellow up and down, um, some little features of bridges and some switchbacks. It's just a really fun, easy trail uh, to go out to. If you want something more severe, um, there's Mount Kessler. That one will kick your butt all day long. Uh, it's you're starting out at like 1400 feet and you're walking and, and riding you're probably pushing your bike I was pushing my bike <laughs> up to 1600 feet and riding down uh, the, When you're going downhill, it's great. But when you're going uphill, it, it, it was harsh. The great news is it's only downhill halfway Yeah, the great news. Yeah um, Be careful. You know last this year I did tumble my bike and smashed my phone. I was without a phone for a week That was a pain in the butt. The, 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 the terrible part was is it was a new phone yeah, it was a brand, I had it all of three weeks, so that was a bummer. But uh, so as for for mountain biking, there are trails everywhere, and there's a few good apps that I can recommend to you about finding good trails. And if you're looking for road bike and just staying on the pavement, maybe you want to go pub hopping on your bike, which is totally you totally do that. Totally do that. Just staying in Fayetteville, um, there's uh, you could probably ride less than eight miles and you're gonna hit a dozen or more restaurants or pubs, uh, little bars. And so a uh, recommendation that I would make if you're gonna ride the bike is uh, get a helmet for your phone first. But the other thing I wanna say <laughs> is go ahead and while we're thinking about it, go ahead and smash that like button and uh, get on that subscription. We'd love to have you on the channel. We produce new content every uh, week and uh, we're just about telling you what's going on in Arkansas. And, uh, you know, with that said, uh, what do you think is the best area to live in the Fayetteville area? Man, that's that's really going to depend on, you know, my, my favorite client, my best client in the world is my wife. Yeah, <laughs> and where she wants to live and what she likes. And there's certain areas of Fayetteville that she doesn't want to live. And she likes this area over that one. And there's different reasons why. Sure. And, well, and, I mean, you guys like to be in that, uh, that lime life, that college area, the, yeah. the hustle and bustle of downtown. And like my wife and I, we like to be out and uh, out in the country, I guess, and, and, and we're like 15 minutes apart. So yeah, yeah. there's not that di much distance. Yeah. And so we're, we're pretty close to a main street where there's a bunch of restaurants, bunch of shopping for groceries. And we're three minutes away from everything that we do and eat. Um, and, but we're still 15 minutes away from each other and uh, getting on the highway, we're three minutes away from that. Uh, so the best area is really going to be about what you want and what you need in a, you know, my wife and I don't have kids yet. And so being close to a sc good school is not important to us yet. And that may be for you. So you got to reach out to us so we can connect, phone call, email, text, whatever you got. That way we can connect you with the right area for you in Northwest Arkansas in Fayetteville. Put a, put a little carrier note on a carrier pigeon, but whatever way you send it, we'll, we'll get we'll Pony get Pony Express. I like that uh, one. Pony Express. There you go. Pony Express. We're going to think of new one. ones <laughs> for the next videos. So, um, and this may, may or may not be, a, you know, this next item, you know, I don't partake in this, but if it's something that's required for you and, and for your best health is medical marijuana is an option here in Northwest Arkansas. There's plenty of dispensaries and uh, you just have to go get your medical marijuana card it takes about two weeks for it to get it in the mail maybe a little bit faster um and bam you can be taking care of your body to where uh getting rid of that pain for whatever you need it for gotcha well let's talk a bit about uh the actual market uh, as a whole uh the market in fayetteville prices and uh what's been happening the last couple of years oh yeah so 30 months ago about june July of 2019, there was about 3,300 houses on the market. And, you know, 
depending on the month, there was about 3,300. When the pandemic started in February, March of 2020, we had close to 2,300 houses on the market. So yeah. we'd already dropped a thousand. And that was just some of that was a lot of sales in the summer and winter months. And then uh, in July of 2021 this year, we dropped down to 495 houses on the market. Wow. And that's all price ranges. That's zero dollars to millions of dollars in Benton and Washington County. And so that was unheard of and unique and uh, nothing like that has ever happened before. It's, it was it's very competitive right now. Um, lots of buyers on each home. If the uh, homes themselves are, um, you know, a desirable home, they're going with 15 offers sometimes. Hey, how are you? Good. Very good. well. Um, so there's a, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's, there's a lot of folks, a lot of buyers competing for individual houses. And, uh, you know, that's something where we kind of shine. So, uh, I know we've told this story before, but, uh, why don't you tell the story about the client that we just recently got all this stuff for on their house? Oh my word. So they, they went into the, the contract with the house and it, the, the seller didn't have the funds to do a whole lot of repairs. And so he listed it as, as is and no repairs. And so we found an option in different avenues, uh, you know, from our secret sauce that we were able to help him, our client, our buyer client, get a brand new roof. And he's getting brand two furnaces and two AC units, upstairs, downstairs, a brand new garage door. Uh, all water heater, don't forget the water heater. Yeah, the water heater, <laughs> uh, all covered and uh, replaced. And so we just, what the, the house is listed as may not be exactly what happens. And so uh, we have different solutions in mind and we can come up with uh, a possibility if the seller is flexible. Yeah, so we're, our goal is to help you find the right home at the right price and just get you dialed into what you and your family need uh, to make it a great fit for you. Um, you know, with the, the market as aggressive as it's been uh, and stuff like that. We still keep winning deals. Um, and, you know, I think uh, out of all the deals that we did uh, this year, uh, how many was that? Uh, uh, there's seven or eight of them. Uh, seven or eight that we got roofs put on, uh, even as competitive as it yeah. is, even though there were multiple offers and we were out there fighting for it. Um, but we were able to get roofs put on uh, seven, eight times, I think, this year. Out of, out of the 70 houses that our team... Uh, so about 10% of the houses yeah. that we closed got, got roofs, uh, new roofs. Love that. That's not going to happen for everybody, but right. those houses needed it and the opportunity was there. So yeah. we made, we fought for our clients. And so that's kind of the housing market. And, you know, prices are going up and there's lots of people moving here. And, lots of people. <laughs> and finding those pocket neighborhoods... Uh, that is going to be best fit for you is why you got to reach out to Alan and Brent, the Living in Arkansas team. We're here to serve. Look forward to meeting you. Till next time.